Are you thinking it's going to take me forever to get all these resources needed for the obliterator? And do you have 20 of these offshore drills built around your map and it is just taking forever to get all the plastic you need? Well, I can assure you there is an easier and more efficient way of getting all these resources needed for the obliterator. We're just going to go ahead and destroy this because we're not going to need this anymore. So very first thing you want to do is you want to upgrade your shovel to the robotic shovel. What the robotic shovel is going to do is every single time you dig, it's going to give you a rare item. These rare items include gems, plastic, and any different types of ores. So I'm gonna leave in the description what you're gonna need for the robotic shovel, but we're not gonna just stop there. We wanna increase the amount of resources we get per dig with this robotic shovel. So what we wanna do is we wanna build as many lighthouses as we possibly can. What the lighthouses are gonna do is increase the amount of resources we get per dig by 50%. So the more lighthouses we have, more resources we're gonna get. So this island should do, build one right there, build a row of them. And to make this even easier, an important skill that you should have is the prospecting skill. So rocks have 10% more chances of dropping gems, increases the chances of finding rare items when digging by 30%. So let's see what we get. Okay, so as you can see here, we have dug up 1,000 of emeralds. We just dug up 1,000 emeralds. Okay, so let's see what else we get. And as you can see, there are a ton of gems, a lot of sand. Oh, and as you can see there, we just dug up 4,000 plastic. Oh, we got some emeralds. Now we're at 3,000 emeralds as well. 8,000 thread. And I think that's 800 more rubies. Okay, so now let's try it with using some liquid luck. As you can see, a lot more gems, a lot more sand. So I would say we have enough resources right now. We have 50,000 rubies, 43,000 emeralds, 50,000 amethyst and 1.7 million pieces of sand. And also we have 4,000 pieces of plastic. And this all took us five minutes. So I think we're ready to start crafting some of these items that we need for the obliterator. So to make this process even faster, we're gonna unlock the skill physics, which unlocks power plants. So we're gonna build a power plant now. So what a power plant is basically gonna do is it's going to increase the speed of your furnaces and also your factories. So it makes the process go even faster. And also what you can do is with the abundance of sand you have now gathered is you can sell that at the marketplace. So we have 1.7 million pieces of sand and we can sell it in the market for one gold coin each. So let's see what happens. Now we have 3.3 million pieces of coin. Now it's basically just a matter of sitting back and waiting for all the resources to build. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys.